Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to How To YouTube, A Complete Guide. Today we are talking about YouTube streaming and Twitch streaming. So we're going to be talking about the differences between the two, which is the better one to go for, and how you can use both these things to cross-pollinate your channels and grow quicker. We're also going to be talking about a little bit about the money you can earn and things like that, how to do it, how to set it up, what you might need. So let's get straight into it. <music> So what I wanted to talk to you today about is other methods of getting your content out there. I'm sorry for this weird inception stuff going on. That's just weird. Uh, I'm getting carried away with it now. Right. Is other methods. So there's a few ways you can do this. So let's say you're a YouTuber, you're creating videos and you decide you want to branch out a little bit. Um, at the moment, things like Twitter video, which is sort of just in its infancy and Facebook video, which is possible, but it's very hard and um, unlikely that you will be able to monetize your videos in Facebook at the moment. It is coming out and selected people do have it and selected videos, but it's not really viable as a, a main thing now. But one of the ways to do it is things like streaming on YouTube and streaming on Twitch. Um, Twitch used to be purely gaming. You could only stream on Twitch if you're a gamer. But now it's it's got a wide array. There's an in real life section. So basically, if you're just sitting here chatting away to your mates, you can stream that in that section. There's a creative section where you can do anything, whether it's sculpture, painting, drawing, writing, whatever it is. You know, it, it fits that vlogging. Like even if you've got a beauty and makeup thing, that would be a brilliant stream. I, I don't see that. I'm not that I check very often, but... You know, that sort of stream is really, really useful. And also it provides, as well as providing a new audience to you, it helps feed your YouTube channel. So let's say you've got a thousand subscribers on YouTube and, you know, you're doing well. Let's say you're gaining 10 a day. You're doing well. You're very happy with how you're growing. If you were to go onto Twitch and start, let's say you've got a makeup tutorial uh, videos if you go on to Twitch and start streaming certain certain makeup routes, I shouldn't have used makeup because I'm struggling. Um, <laughs> but if you're good to go on streaming on Twitch to show off these makeup routines and live stream some of you know you doing makeup in various different guises and stuff like that, is that there's overlap between YouTube and Twitch, but there's also people that just watch Twitch. They don't watch much YouTube. And in the Twitch itself, you can have links to your YouTube. So it can actually help get grow. And then obviously... Um, adversely on the other side you can say you can when you go live streaming on twitch you can make a little video um that you that you go that goes live as soon as you go live on twitch and saying hey guys uh, just to let you know i'm live on twitch right now the link is in the description come over and say hello and all that stuff so drive views back and forth to help both those things grow obviously it takes a bit of time because you know as well as making videos you're now live streaming and stuff like that what you can do Another way is to live stream on Twitch and then upload those videos to YouTube. The negative of that, the the positive is obviously saving times and it means you're getting two lots of views from everywhere. But the negative of that is Twitch works differently in that you're live streaming to an audience that are chatting in the comments. You're saying th saying stuff to the people in the comments. You're saying thank you for follows or donations or whatever. So once you upload that to YouTube, sometimes it can be a little bit annoying to watch when you're just want to, you just want to watch somebody do some football manager and they every two minutes they're saying thanks for the follow dave365 thanks for the donation jim or answering questions that you don't know what they're on about and stuff like that but it can be a way to do it or you can maybe just edit down to the highlights or something obviously another benefit of twitch is the money side of things so now when you start streaming on twitch there's there's no money other than you can set up um, on, on websites like uh, Streamlabs and stuff, which integrates with your streaming and um, basically allows people to donate money to you. They take a small percentage and people are, are crazily generous. If they enjoy your content, they are happy to support you and stuff. You will get donations no matter how sort of small a streamer you are, because people are just generally really nice. I think there's lots... This is a bit of a tangent, but I think there's lots of negativity talked about the world and how shit it is and how shit humans are. But actually, you know, most of the people are pretty damn cool. So the reason I'm showing you this Inception shit is this is the program that I use um, for both recording YouTube videos and streaming on Twitch. Um, I, it's called OBS. 
I won't go through the settings with you because I'm not, firstly, I'm not a techie, but if you just YouTube search or Google search settings for streaming on, on Twitch or settings for OBS on, on YouTube, you'll find some really, really good videos. That's basically what I did. Um, but, and that's one of the main reasons I use OBS because then it's the same program for both things. If you're just doing a video capture for your YouTube videos, then you'll need to download OBS or XSplit um, or another program to be able to stream. So this is nice that I, it, it does everything for me. If I hit record, it starts recording. If I hit stream, start streaming. Um, there's plenty of really good guides on YouTube to how to set up your stream and getting it looking good and everything like that. On going back to the money side, so you start off, you can you can get donations and all the, all the, those nice things, and once you get to a certain amount of like average viewers, I think it's set at 500 or something. But if you can average, you know, stream three plus times a week and average 300 odd viewers every time you stream you'll eventually they'll give you partnership which then allows you to have um, people subscribe to you um, and they basically pay five dollars a month uh, you get two dollars fifty twitch gets two dollars fifty they get little extra badges and stuff to show that they're a supporter and all that sort of good stuff and and everything so you know some of the big twitch streamers earn tens of thousands of pounds every week just for you subscribers and donations and stuff like that. Um, it's a really fun place. And I've, the, I, the single most fun thing about Twitch, and why you should probably give it a go, is direct interaction with your audience. YouTube's great. You make a video, people comment on it, then you reply to the comments. This is great when you're streaming and you're actually chatting to those people. It feels much more involved and in getting to know the, you know the people that watch your channel and stuff like that. You can... Um, live stream on YouTube and initially that sounds like a better idea because if I can stream on YouTube then that will help my YouTube channel grow even bigger because it will feed into it and all that sort of stuff but the way YouTube have set up YouTube gaming is just horrifically bad not only is it sort of tried to sort of kept separate and hidden away um when you sort of live stream you'll only really see people that already subscribe to your normal YouTube channel appear and this is the best thing, even if, let's say, so you're streaming Football Manager, right? And let's say some random Joe that's never heard of you just goes into YouTube gaming. He's one of the 10 that do. Finds your channel and goes, oh, this guy's good. I'm watching him. I'm going to hit the subscribe button, right? You're thinking, brilliant, new subscriber. No, that's not how YouTube works. It keeps them separate. So he is subscribed to your live YouTube gaming channel, not your actual channel, which is mind-bogglingly pointless on YouTube's behalf to try and strip these two things apart when they should be, you know, intertwined and, and grow together. So um, there's also no subscription fee. There is a way to do this, what's called Power Chat or some silly little thing where people can donate money and, and their comment gets highlighted and stuff like that. Um, but there's no sort of partnership program as such yet that I know of. Um, so I would definitely, if you're going to stream, I would go for Twitch over YouTube. Um, it's just, it's it works really well. It, it allows your two separate things, YouTube and Twitch, to grow and feed each other, which is really good with different audiences. You know, I think it's just really good. And it's just really good fun. Um <clears throat> And and sort of that's pretty much it. That I think streaming's not for everyone. Some people find streaming really difficult to do. If they can't waffle on for hours like I can just on my own, then it can be hard. If you do videos that take require lots of editing, you might have a channel whose content just doesn't suit live streaming at all. Um, but even then, like we're saying with the splitting the channels, you could have your makeup videos um, that you or well, let's say movie reviews that you do on YouTube, sort of live streaming and movie reviews. Possible, but probably not that interesting for most people. But you could then, if you do some gaming, if you play League of Legends on the side, maybe you just stream League of Legends. So there's two separate... It's almost like having a second channel. You, you live stream League of Legends. It's almost like a separate thing in itself. But definitely give it a go. It is really, really good fun. And it's nice getting to know your audience better. And like I said, it helps both channels grow.
So there we go guys, another video done. I hope you enjoyed it and got something useful out of it. If you have any questions on the subject we talked about in this video, then please leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, I'm also going to do a live Q&A at the end of this series on YouTube. So if you want to talk, um, have any more questions or want to go a bit more in depth or something we haven't talked about before, then make sure you join me on that stream. Also subscribe if you're new. Um, also, you know, if you've got your own tips to share, put them in the comments. Let's help each other grow. You know, I'm not the world's expert of YouTube. I'm just showing you what I've learned. But if you've got your own tips and tricks, then please do leave them in the comments. Get involved and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. Love you all. Bye-bye.